There are two things I really like about Alta Beauty. But there is one thing I don't. And before we get to that, before we analyze and value it, we should know that Alta Beauty is the largest beauty retailer in the United States. They have over 1,300 stores in the US and offer over 25,000 products by more than 600 brands, including Chanel, Dior, or Lola V, founded by Jennifer Aniston. We win! <laughs> and even though they are so big, they are still growing in an incredible pace. Let's start by looking at the historical results of Alta Beauty. <music> If you were to invest $1,000 into this company 10 years ago, you could buy around 8.5 shares. And today, they would be worth around $3,515. So in 10 years, you would gain 251.5%. That is a very nice result. But of course, the price of the stock does not tell us anything about the company itself. So let's analyze it and see, are such gains probable in the future? Individual insiders, that is an X, only 0.1% of the company is owned by individual insiders. And we would like to see this number over 2%. So unfortunately, the management does not have its skin in the game. And are individual insiders buying? That is an X, we see only sale transactions from insiders in the last year. And the super investors own this company. That is a check. One super investor owns this company and it is Lee Ainsley. And is he buying right now? That is also a check. He bought 6,629 shares in the last quarter. But Alta Beauty makes up currently less than 0.1% of his portfolio, so it is not a major bet at this moment. Return on invested capital. That is a check at 26.7% 10-year median returns. And we want to see this number higher than 10%, so such a high return tells us that the management is doing a very nice job. And how is the growth of free cash flow looking? That is a check at 36.9% 10-year compound annual growth rate. And also here, we want to see this number over 10%, so this is absolutely incredible. It's like a money printing machine. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 11.7%, and the sector average is 7.9%. So they have a very nice pricing power over their competitors. They are using their dominant position in the market in a very smart way. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is yet another check with 23.1% of the shares bought back in the last 10 years. That means that long-term investors became owners of a bigger portion of this company without spending any extra cash. Okay, so now let's take a look at the debt. It is a check and a very nice one as well. Alta Beauty does not have any debt. So we have checks all around and that is the first thing that I really like about this company. Not often do we find a business that has such a great financial health. Unfortunately, Alta Beauty does not pay any dividends and that is the one thing I don't like. But most probably that's just my emotions speaking and not my brain, because if I think about it, then I totally acknowledge that I may be wrong and maybe the share buybacks are a better way to distribute the earnings to shareholders. And also, they have a great return on invested capital. So they are finding really good ways to allocate the money. And even though they are a big company, they are still growing really fast. So 
probably not paying the dividends at the current time is actually a smart thing to do. Before we get to the valuation, I just wanted to let you know that if you want to get an overview of all the companies that we have analyzed on this channel, then you can become a Patreon for just $5 and get access to our stock ranking. And that gives you this bird's eye view on all of the companies. And of course, that way you are also supporting this channel and making these analysis possible. So thank you very much for that. Now back to the valuation. So to value Alta Beauty, we will have to estimate its growth for the next 10 years. And we will make three scenarios of this growth, low, medium, and a high one. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 10% for the entire 10 years. In the medium, 15% and then 12%. And in the high scenario, 18% for the first five years and then 15% growth. These estimates seem really high, so why did I use them? Well, if we look at the 10-year annual growth rate, we see that the revenue went up by 16.5%, free cash flow by 36.9% and earnings per share by 24.5%. So the low scenario is significantly lower than the past results, which by the way are quite incredible. Medium scenario is a conservative prediction of the future growth, and the high one is still predicting a slowdown of their growth. But considering the scale of this company, the growth will most probably slow down, unless they will expand outside the US. So, with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $548, in the medium scenario $714, and in the high scenario $886. But that is not the end result, because we have to always add a margin of safety. I use a 30% one, and such a margin is right for my character, for my way of investing. But of course, you can apply any margin that makes you feel comfortable. So with a 30% margin of safety, we get in the low scenario $384, in the medium scenario $500, and in the high one $620. And the current price is around $398. So only the low scenario with a margin of safety is in the red. Alta Beauty is really nicely priced. And that is the second thing I like about this company currently. So we have a company with great growth, no debt, it is buying back stock, and the current price is very interesting. And maybe we could expect some dividends, but even without them, this company looks like a very interesting investment opportunity. But let me know what do you think? Am I uh, too optimistic? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.